Hey guys and gals, let's unbox and take a look at the 100 years of Disney animation icons by Lego Disney. This is set number 43221 and I believe it has 1,022 bricks. The set retails for $59.99 and the set was provided to me by the Lego Group for early review. And this is pretty much what it is. It's a picture frame and we're making pixel art. It's like we get Mickey Mouse and Clouded. And it doesn't look too bad. I think it's just the the bland color of the box. It makes it look rather boring. And, well, here's the back. <laughs> Not too bad. And it says you have, what is it, seven, 72 ideas included. And you can pop those out and stuff. Now, this is probably one of the very few boxes, if you notice, there's no thumb pusher things. There's no tape. How do you open it up? I need a box cutter. And I need to keep the box for reference purposes. So what do I do? I'm going to have to cut this open. And yes, you just saw me bump the camera. <laughs> and for those who get seasick very easily, this is probably not going to be the video for you. So you may want to skip the unboxing here. And yeah, I'm pretty much mutilating this. And I'm just going to throw it out right now that lego never even put any way to open this up easily so don't ask me why i don't know <laughs> usually they have a way to open these up and then just have to mutilate it now why am i opening it up from the bottom because i use the boxes okay now we can dump everything out so that was sealed up pretty good I didn't want anybody getting in there. Would have took a hundred years to open that up. And here we have a manual. How's the bill broken down? Okay, we've seen that a million times. It just starts right at bag one. And well, that's all the parts. And it looks like you get to build all this too. Wow, this wouldn't be that hard to put together. You just look at the picture and just build it, huh? Let's see here. And this is part of the the whole unboxing process too when you plan out the build. It doesn't really tell me here what bags do what. And I don't want to waste too much time going through the manual. You can go through that at your own leisure. And let's see here. We got bag number three, one, four. Oh, we got two bag fours, so that's not good. There's a two. A smaller bag four, and we got another bag four, and a miscellaneous bag. Well, let's see here. How do we un how do we unbox this now? <laughs> I don't think the review is going to take forever with this one. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with a miscellaneous bag. So it looks like this bag is full of. Just basic 8x8 eight eight plates in just various colors. And pretty much what it is. So we get two pinks, flame yellowish orange, medium azure, uh, bright yellowish green, and bluish green. And that's pretty much about it for that bag. Let's have a look at the contents in bag one and yeah, I would expect that we get a brick separator with this set. Now, I kind of want to see exactly what $59.99 gets us here. And of course, we get a bunch of these 8x8 plates, so there's another one. <laughs> and you need this, because I have a feeling you're going to be taking this apart to make all the little figures and stuff. And Oh, that's nice. Nice and shiny, too. Just a... Uh, Disney 100 and minifigure stand and we got there's Mickey Mouse I used to be able to do his voice years ago I can't do it anymore <laughs> and then there's the legs now I'm looking for these right here these these are one by four by two thirds plate with bow and yeah that's a pretty good set. It has a bunch in here. And we got one of those little pipe pieces. So we got a few of these. Mickey Mouse head and 
one by four plates and one by eight plates and six stud long cross axles, some wedge plates and yeah, I mean not a whole lot in there except for the figure, but yeah, yeah. And that box still left a residue. <laughs> still can't believe he couldn't open up that box. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad here. Whoa, where are we going? So we got plenty of small things in this one, like studs, half round one by one flat tiles, one by two jumper plates, one by one plates, shoe guider plates, and then we got some, you know, quarter round two by two flat tiles. And a friction stub that takes a cross axle. We get a few of those and some quarter, quarter round one by one flat tiles, various colors, and we get a paint. We get a set of paint brushes here that have blue paint on them. And here's the paint palette. Okay, I have the other paint palette, I believe, but this one's different, so that'd be pretty cool. And yeah, so that's not too bad for bag one. Moving on to bag two, and I think there's only one of these. Okay. Well, so far it seems like we can build the set into modular builds. That means, you know, you and a friend could build this. Some blue, three by three plates. Pull that out of there. We're not ready for that yet. And some two by four bricks with bow. And I was wondering how they did the trim around this. That must be it. And some boring gray or medium stone gray. Six by six plates and some two by eight plates. And we've seen those a million times. And one by six plates in yellow. And one by eight plates in white. we got a few more of these right here. And a couple of these. One by one by one and one thirds. With the foul, one of these two by six plates, ooh, with the hanger. And this, this is a late night unboxing too, bedside build, or bedside unboxing. We have a six by six plate, some of this dark pink, two by three plates. So far I'm seeing nothing but mostly common stuff. And then we got some two by two angler wedge plates. These are just plain two by two black flat tiles, some one by two by two corner plates. And yeah, it's just, these are just pretty common parts. These, I, don't know, I can probably have a use for those. And then let's open this up. Now what I'm taking it that this is probably just a nice display piece you'd hang on your wall, maybe in a child's room. So should be pretty interesting to build. Oh, look, we got little hard tiles. Cool, and those are in white, but it wasn't red. And some round one by one flat tiles in red. And we got some dark green one by two by two corner plates. And some yellowish green, lime green studs. One by one plates. Two by two plate with a stud in the center. And another one of those little hearts. One by two plates and stuff like that. So. Bag two, yeah. Next we have bag three, and there's only one of these. And, well, looks like this is almost the same contents as bag two. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this is not a mistake. Well, I see some stuff that's a little different here. I just dumped that out because it's the same stuff we've seen in the last one. One thing I noticed is we have some black round plates. We got a three by six half round plate and some four by four round plates. And anything else? We got a couple more of these three by three blue plates. Lego, where's those five by fives at, huh? And yeah, so this bag here pretty much almost has the same pieces as bag two. Finally, we have several numbered bag fours. So, let's see here. We got four of them in total. Well, let's start with the big one first. And we'll work our way down. And, well, we got bags within bags. So, if you thought that this was going to be a quick unboxing, it looks like we'll be spending the majority of our time unbagging four. 
Now, slide all that out of the way there. Just too many bags here. <laughs> and we'll get to that later. And there's more of it in here. Bags within bags. And then some cool yellow 8x8 plates. And this we've got a... I think that's a, a bright green. I think that might be light purple and dark azure. So in total, we get, I think, 11 of these. And well, we'll keep that there so I know how what my camera's limit is. <laughs> and some 2x4 plates. And plenty of wedge plates. You got the 2x2s and you got the 2x4. Yeah, that's pretty much what's in that one. And then we'll call this bag 4-1, the big one we just did. And all right, so you get some 1 by 2 and I don't think I've ever, I think this is light nougat or flush town or light, I don't know. I'd like to get enough of this in brick form to build a house. Get those in 2 by 2 and I'm not going to walk through all the parts. Just stuff that catches my interest. You got plenty of 2x2 two two round flat tiles, studs, 1x2 plates, some of these 1x2x2 one by two, one by two by two quarter round flat tiles, 1x1 one one round flat tiles, 1x1 one one tiles. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a mosaic project at that, and some 1x1 one one plates. And bag four, I'm just going to mix it all up because that's pretty much what it is. So when I build this, it's going to be a challenge. And we got plenty more one by two plates, but these are in cool yellow and flame yellowish orange. And some quarter round one by one flat tiles that are in blue. I don't think I have any of those in blue. If I do, have not that many. And some more of these. Okay, here we got one of these. So we got a few of these uh, one by two half round jumper plates. And what else again? We got plenty of those actually. Pretty cool. Yeah, not too bad. And 4 2. Okay, <laughs> hey, you're going to you're going to have to go through all those. Yeah, just imagine when I do the build exploration of it. I don't know how long the build's going to take, but now I have a feeling that there's probably more pieces to build all the other little mosaics, but this is mostly just a, a tiny parts pack than anything else. So we got some number two, one by two rounded plates, one by two jumper plates. Pretty cool. We got more of these. Matter of fact, this reminds me of a dot set more than anything. Quarter round tiles, one by two plates. It's a round two by two plates in dark stone gray. What color, why is that color doing in there? And then some half round one by one plates and some one by one plates. So, you know, you know I mean, and I'm gonna just bluntly say it if you are not into tiny pieces like this, this is probably not the set for you. Well, I'm going to have to suffer through it, so <laughs> it shouldn't be a bad build, though. And then we have, I think, light nougat. This is medium nougat here. One by two flat tiles. So there's going to be some one by ones in that color. But you get plenty of these one by one quarter round flat tiles. So if you really need those, there you go. And some one by one plates and stuff like that. Well, that's all there is in bag 4-2. Go ahead and move on to 4-3. Now I may forget some stuff here. That's why I do the build explorations. And there's just so many round pieces. If you, if you got something you can put these in, like a plate or something, that might be better. And the same old usual. We got some of these gold stars if you need those for your beach there you go and some of these light nougat one by one plates some more of these quarter round two by two flat tile with arch one by two jumper plates 
one by one plates, radiator grills. Okay. Well, that's pretty much what's in that little bag there. And don't go throwing this around, trust me. You're going to have to pick all that up. Okay. And I did see some printed pieces. So obviously these right here must be the eyes. And those are printed. So I'm a, I didn't see a sticker sheet, so that's good. We don't have to fight with any stickers. And we got some Angler 2x2 two two half flat tiles there. And some 1x2x2 one by two by two cheese slopes. Okay. Yeah, if you're looking for these type of tiles right here, this set's got a bunch of these in different colors. And oh, I can kind of use a lot of these weird colors in here. You got these in light nougat too. Alrighty. Well, that's got one more here. This would be 4-4. And bags within bags. Why I put my hand there is I don't want them rolling off the table and I have to pick that up. I tell you right now, I'm overflowing a bin of just these. So yeah, I'm going to have to maybe get a new one. Uh, we got some light nougat 1x2 jumper plates. Some round plates and flat tiles and... Little butterflies and flame yellowish orange. And you know, it's the same old stuff now at this point. And yeah, that's so a thousand pieces is mostly just one by twos and one by ones. Alright, so same old stuff. We got some blue one by two flat tiles. Oh wow, some bluish green in there too. And jumper plates and some more of these quarter round one by one flat tiles. And got some of these in medium nougat. These make great pie pieces or partial pancake pieces. But yeah, well, let's just group all this together here. I'm not going to mix every bag up because that would be kind of killer. And what you see here is just mostly one by ones and one by twos, except with these here. And yeah, it's uh, my hands are going to have a workout, especially the brick separator. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of colorful little pieces. A lot of these I kind of have on my wish list that I need. And I always get questions asked about, you know, how do you stock up on one by one plates? Well, sets like this pretty much has you covered. Well, I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like all assembled. So I'm going to go over to my second channel, build it. Then we're going to take a look at it. Here's the animation icons all assembled. And yeah, looks like we have nine in this frame. We have two spares. And one in this little fold-up frame here. Let's take a look at that. It says 100 years. Disney 100, and that's kind of a nice metallic finish to it. And these are meant to be popped out, so you can pop this out of here and replace it with something like this. You can just snap that right in there. So you can just pop that out and put it back in and do all sorts of stuff with it. And that's not too bad. And then here we have one minifigure, which is Mickey Mouse. Yes, I know who he is. <laughs> it's got a paint palette and stuff. So you get one bonus figure there. And this we have the wall hanger. You got the Mickey Mouse heads and stuff like that. And this is the back here. And this is meant to be where you can pop these out too. So I could just pop out like the apple. I'll stick this one in here and you can build up to 12 little mini mosaics at one time so you know here I think this is maybe Chip or Dale I can't remember um, I thought this is Mickey Mouse but it could be something else I don't know uh, I know that's all off and Dumbo I remember 
and I think that might be Snow White. I, I don't know my Disney characters. Maybe that one's Snow White. <laughs> you got me. I, like I said, I don't watch a lot of these. And so you're always going to have two of these that are going to be floating around here. Kind of wish there was a place to store these at. And that's essentially it for the tour. <laughs> it's it's not a whole lot, but it's cool to look at. This this is nice, bright, and colorful. We're going to just jump right on into the review. And we're going to go right into build experience. At first, the build was pretty enjoyable. And once you got to bag four, it slowed down because you had to do all these mosaics. Now, this is obviously meant to be built with another person. So if you have a couple of builders who enjoy these type of mosaics and stuff like that you can get three or four people and knock this out really quick so that's not too bad and also we have plenty of extra pieces now in the manual it shows that you can build up to 12 of these at one time which is true but i don't think you can build all 72 of these it says there's 72 ideas that are included so what they mean by included is the parts are here to build up to 12 of them. So you'd have to be careful which ones you pick. But for me, it wasn't too bad. So the build experience, I'd say, was average to a little bit above average. Build quality is above average. This is meant to be hung on a wall, so it's pretty robust, as well as this little frame here. You can fold this down and bring it out and all that stuff. Honestly, these make great little picture frames to hang your pictures in and stuff, too. Kind of a good inspiration for that. Which leads to mocks. You can probably add your own artwork and put it in here. Take the ears off and just make this into a regular frame. It's not too bad. So for mocks, it'd be fine. Uh, for city value, not too much. As well as play value. This is not meant to be a playable model. But honestly, though, just on this plain white boring counter here with my scuffed up walls <laughs> uh, does add a lot of color so it's a very colorful build so that's probably why it wasn't wasn't boring to put together it was not and i'm making the emphasize in that because it does have a lot of colors in this it was very enjoyable to put together it was a relaxing build for the assessment on this set and it's not bad at all so for me i'm going to rate it at a very high nine like a 9.8 there's no stickers nothing fell off and the 9.8 i think the 9.8 i think i had to ding off something i think maybe it was the way the bags were numbered in a way but kind of degraded the experience because if one of the bags just had the parts just for these 12 mosaics that would have been fine but when you had four numbered four bags and you had a bunch of extra pieces it just going through all the pieces just made it a, <laughs> kind of a slow process so when you get to bag four on this just sort everything by color okay it'll make this a lot easier i started doing it when i was doing the build i'll have the build on my second channel if you're interested and some stories to go along with it too but for me personally though i'm really happy now, for the price of this, this is $59.99, and I'd say that's about right. Probably underpriced a little bit, but you've got a lot of small pieces. So, uh, you've been forewarned. If you're not a fan of 1x1 one one and 1x2 one plates and tiles, yeah, you, know, you may want to stay away from this one. But for me personally, though, for somebody like myself who's not really interested in a piece of art like this... It's pretty nice. This is going to be a nice little display piece. And I think this will look good maybe in a, ch in a child's room, maybe like a nursery or something. You know, I can see this being hung in a, like maybe, it, it maybe in a baby's room or something. It looks pretty cool. So if you've got an area that needs a lot of color, this will do it. It's got a lot of, you know, bright, vivid, and even some of the muted colors like the pastels. For me, I enjoy putting this together. It wasn't a waste of time. It was pretty enjoyable. I didn't, you know, no, you know, like I said, nothing fell apart or anything. But tell me what you think of this set. Do you think this is worth the $59.99? Is this something that you may be looking for to hang up in your room or your child's room or <laughs> just, just anywhere? I mean, this is pretty cool. I can see this being used for other creations as well. But tell me what you think in the comments.